Hi, I'm Alana Heim of Prosperity Alignment, and today I want to dive into the individuality that's transiting currently in the human design chart. It's also transiting in the astrology. It's just we look at it on this deeper level within the houses of astrology to go into the actual hexagrams of the Chinese I Ching. So there's lots that is moving and shaking and individuality is really powerful. This is energy coming directly from source. Consider it your left and right brains coming together in unification in this beautiful blending. And it, it's such a great example of where we're at in, in the world, where this is exactly what we need, not just for us to be able to be who we are, but we need it on the level of bringing ourselves into oneness where we're no longer in the polarity and dancing in you're on this side of the aisle and I'm on this side of the aisle. No, we're coming together in unity. We're here to unify. We're here to be one. The outer aisle is the collective and it's pulling our energies away from each other and our oneness. It's pulling us apart. And now we're looking at each other like we're not unified and we're not here to be one that we're here to be divided and separated and that's not true so individuality is bringing us together because it's bringing you into you to really go inward to explore who you are not who the world wants you to be out there but who you've always been the gifts that are part of your soul part of what you're here to have experiences around in this lifetime this is what human design brings together for you to really understand yourself. So individuality is powerful, right? The collective fears it. They're afraid that you're gonna break free from the mold and you're gonna suddenly be rebellious. And guess what? You are. Because there's a part, especially as the energies are coming forth, we just had the sun leave the gate one. It's now in the 43 in the beautiful um, thing about the 43, it's always paired with the 23, which gives you the whole channel from the Ajna to the throat and it's individuality at its finest. It is you connecting to source and having pure source love light and knowingness come forth. It's where you hear from within because you know who you are and you know when the timing is right to translate that sound into language, bringing it into form and then sharing it when you're recognized to do so. When people are leaning in because they're ready to hear what you have to say. We're all feeling this, the whole planet. So this is the time for you to go inward and to listen to your inner voice and to stop being deaf uh, to that voice because you've been so caught up in the external noise. It's time to flip it to stop listening to the external noise, the external garbage of our society, of our collective, of your parents, of your community, and everybody telling you what you should do and who you should be. Now you get to go inward. And it scares the collective because there becomes a point when you are so clear and you have such discernment, it doesn't matter what kind of noise they're providing. It doesn't cloud you anymore and you know your own truth and you don't have to listen. And so in a way, it feels rebellious for them because suddenly you're not following along and you're not doing what you're told, but you are. You're doing it from within, your connection to your highest self, to God, your source power. You don't need the external world. So let's dive in and I'm gonna just show you real quick this is what I am currently experiencing. And if you need your chart run and to dive in, to go look at what the transits are doing with your chart, I'm actually all of the green. This is me. I have two channels, the 3740, the 6447. This is the conscious transits of the planets in purple. And you'll see that there's a lot of individuality. The 22, we also have the 2034, this whole channel that continues to transit through January 17th of 2022. We have the entire channel of the 4323. We have the entire channel of the 6124. 
we have three powerful individual channels that are transiting for everyone. How is this playing out for you? I normally have four centers defined, five open. Today, what I'm experiencing is one center undefined. And I am having the influence of all of this activation. All of these planets are bringing activation that actually bridges me, right? Completes me, allows so much of this energy. So if we start here at the root, coming and channeling and going all the way around the 1949 to the 3740, the 2644, to the 5720, to the 2343 and the 6124, right? All of those energies are connected. I have single definition I am not used to. That means I get to play with allowing my emotions and my head and Ajna getting to the throat and being able to experience it all and experience the root. That's new for me. Experience the sacral. That's new for me. Experience the spleen. That's new for me. Experience the throat. That's new for me. And experiencing some new channels like the 6124 and the 4323. I don't always have those defined in my chart. And I'm bringing this up because the power in knowing you and then having these outer influences may feel like some of that noise. But it's also going to bring you new energies of, of clarity and support and ways of thinking differently and seeing differently. It opens you to a whole new perspective. It opens you to be in this energy of individuality. Even if you didn't have it in your chart defined before, you're having this impact that allows you to feel as if you do. This energy is not for us to think that it's going to come forth and now we get to take action from. Allow this energy to actually come forth with new ideas, new possibilities that you're sending out to source in the universe and allowing it to come back around so you may take action from beneath, right? So making sure that you're always taking action. And for me right now, I'm feeling all four motors. Two, I usually have. Two, I'm being influenced by currently. So honoring the fact that it is through the body where we take action. It is through the body that we actually make our decisions. So just because you're getting all this new energy, that's not what is going to influence your decisions. It's going to there to open you up to new possibilities and new knowingness that's coming forth so that you may truly step into being the individual you're here to be and you've always been here to be. Now is the time for all of us, all of humanity across the globe to come in to find yourself, to remember that you are the light, it's there. The time is now for you to step into your gifts and to let go of whatever people told you you had to be and who you had to be and what you had to do. If it doesn't align, it was never meant to be. It wasn't who you are. Now, we all are going to start shedding literally shedding away old beliefs, old behaviors, old thoughts, old actions, right? It's about finding yourself and and having your human design chart is so powerful because you have the map. You know more about who you are and if you don't really understand what it means and how to integrate and live it, this is what I love. I'm a projector. I'm here to guide others so that you're truly living according to who you are and it's fun. So, Have a blessed day. Enjoy this individual energy. Bye for now.